it is Sonya coming to you live tonight from Jug Monkey Paint Studio here in Ligonier, Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh. I want to know who's joining me tonight because it is day two. Day two, we survived day one of the paint challenge. Now we are moving on to the second project. Remember, over the next 30 days, I am on here live every day painting a piece of furniture for the entire month of August. You know what that means? That means if you join me from beginning to end, I'm here to answer all your questions that you too can be a furniture painting pro. How does that sound? As you're logging on, please say hello to me tonight. Say hello. You know, give me smiley faces, give me hearts, and tell me where you're watching from because it is always fun to see who's on here with me. So with me tonight is my hubby, my partner in crime, Matt. Do you say hello? Bonjour. Oh, tonight he's gone all French. I see how that works. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm pulling out one of my favorite Jug Monkey paint colors tonight. It is Teal River. Come over and see the yumminess right here, okay? Teals can lean towards greens. Teals can lean, to lean towards blues. And this is an awesome color here tonight called Teal River for those of you who are wondering. Okay, so real cool, really cool thing about this piece is that it came from an auction. So I am the proud owner of item number 44. Who's been to an auction? Who loves auctions? And uh, when you can score pieces like this, all right. So what's everybody saying tonight? I'm going to kick off painting this piece. You guys know I don't have the prime. I don't have the sand. The only prep I have to do if I want to prep it is clean the piece. Okay. So in this case, I am ready to roll. You can see it's an old piano bench. You can see it's got some wood up here that's been sanded down. It's got like some over here that's been scratched off. I can see that somebody painted before and did some like an antiquing a glaze to it before. All I know is it's tired, it's used, and it needs some junk monkey love, right? So I'm not even going to worry about sanding or doing anything to this piece. I am grabbing my jar, my brush, my uh, cheap, cheap chip brush, and getting ready to go bananas. So what's everybody talking about tonight? I'm going to kick off painting this piece. Well, I want to know what everybody's saying. Kelly Sheet says hello. Hey, Kelly. Nancy, you're watching, but you're not saying hello. I see you. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Erna's oh on. Barbara Jacques on. Linda. Oh, is that my girl, Linda, from California? Yes. Hey, Linda. Luann LaFogg is on as well. Hey, Luann. I got to tell you something funny. Something so, funny, which I think is so true. Linda, um, it's so funny because I painted that piece last night. Do you, night, do you guys remember? It was that, uh, that old secretary. Actually, show them real quick. They're right here behind me. Just to remind you, if you didn't join us last yes. night, that was a project that we did. We got to put the hardware on it yet, but... You can kind of see it right here. Can you see it? Oh my God. So, <laughs> several people comment, oh my God, why would you ruin that piece? Why would you paint it? Let me just tell you right now, um, welcome to my paint page where I love to paint. Sorry, not sorry, but what was really funny is God love Linda. She actually created her own little hashtag and it is Team Paint Wood, okay? Team Paint Wood. So, welcome Team Paint One to tonight's day two of the 30 day paint challenge. I am super excited to paint this wooden piece tonight. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. Margie's checking in from Cal, Texas. Janet from Foreman, Texas. Arkansas. Barbara from New Hampshire. Terrell is checking in. Terrell Canada is her name. Flanagan, Canada. Oh, maybe she's, she's in checking Canada. in. No, okay. she's from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Okay. All so, right. <laughs> Nancy Medell is checking in from hot and humid California. Hello, Karen. Alice Templeton from Dallas, Texas. Melanie is checking in from Riverton, Illinois. Lois is checking in from Kentucky. Uh, Barb Slade said, hey, you guys. How are you saying, Matt? Ball is hey. to you. Hello, Shelly well, Mann is checking in. Uh, Shelly Mann Bellavo is checking in from Maine. Francis Sight. Side, I, am, I am saying hello to my friends. I know. You can't, like, no. multitask, can you? Hi. Uh, Francis says hi from Columbia. Steve uh, and Tammy are checking in from hey, Hudson, Steve North Carolina. Uh, Andy beach. says hello. hi. Kaylee says hola. Hola. Yeah, que pasa, Kaylee. Um, Kathy's checking in from Romney, West Virginia. Andy, can't wait to get my paint. Uh, there's oh, all kinds. Let me tell you, the post office is sick of seeing us for the last five days. <laughs> what the different? There's um, a lot of happy mail that's gone out of yes, here. Yes, absolutely. So, Erna just finished set, making a set of cornhole bags. Uh, oh, nice. Barbara's checking in from Orange Grove, Texas. Barbara Jocks. That yes. was Barbara Ramirez. Barbara Jocks wants to know, do you feel like you're on a romper room with Magic Mirror as you read off all the time? Actually, Magic Mirror scared me. 
Well, uh, I never saw that. Nancy, it's an American thing. Nancy Gordon Modell says, what's the difference between glaze and paint? Ooh, you're going to want to stay tuned tonight because, yes. oh, by the way, don't let me forget, we got a giveaway tonight, i got to tell yes. you about. But listen, yes, I'm going to use some glaze tonight, okay? So right now, I'm putting on the very first coat, and that's all I'm going to need, honestly, of my Junk Monkey Teal River onto this piece, okay, Matt? Come show them what I've got done so far. It's going to dry really fast. Honestly, this stuff dries probably in about 30 minutes, especially, like, I've got a fan on behind me. So um, it's gonna dry really, really fast, right? So before I even get to the top, just to give you guys an idea, how cool would this be is when you paint the base one fun color, and then if you even were to sand off the top of this, you could stain the top. So imagine this being like, you know, a table in your kitchen or something like that, just to kind of give you guys some inspiration. Paint the table eggs, stain the top. How fun that would that be, right? I got to so get some good lighting because you can't okay. really see it in the back. Yeah, we need to get some more lights in here. We are actually at our DIY studio. Uh, burn the midnight oil tonight on here with you guys. Our goal is, goal is to inspire you guys to answer your questions about painting so you can feel confident. And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe rescue a few pieces that would have otherwise been burnt, thrown out. And uh, you can make them, make them your own and make all your friends jealous, right? When they say, oh my God, where'd you get that piece? Be like me, like you know, finding things by the side of the side of the road and calling your husband and asking him to come uh, help you load it uh, in the car that's way too small. Judith says hi from the co-op in the Cove, Duncannon, PA. Hello. Uh, Eileen's checking in from New York. She just finished an old TV cabinet. Oh, New York. Julie's checking in from Birmingham, Alabama. Hey. Amarillo's Isvedo Lopez is checking in from Florida. Uh, Elaine is checking in for Columbus, Georgia. Uh, Kathy has shared. She's checking in from Florida. Oh, tell about the giveaway before we get too far. Okay, the giveaway. big giveaway. Heck yeah, we're at giveaway the end, if you share this, at the end. Share right now. Share right now. Yes, and at the end, alive. the magic iPad uh, over on the other side of me here is going to collect all the names. And then it's going to mix them up. And then it's going to spit one out. And the big winner, yep. if you're stateside, you get to choose any one jar of any color of our Junk Monkey paint. And if you're north of the border, you will receive a mystery prize. You guys seeing this? They're seeing this. What do you think about I'm it so far, this. right? So for those of you who wonder how far it goes, it goes a long, long ways. And I'm only putting one coat on right now. So if I really wanted to even intensify this, I could go a second coat. But guys, it is so, so easy. I've got a piece, all I had to do was clean it up and throw on some Junk Monkey, literally throw it on, slap it on. You can have fun with this as well and you can do different techniques. Right now what I'm doing is totally covering this piece entirely in paint, okay? So I want to go entirely in paint. So be sure to share this video for somebody right now who will of course get in on the giveaway so that you can pick live with us a jar of Junk Monkey paint from our wall of paint. If you are that lucky person, um, and also if you share right now, you can tag some friends, tell them to get on here, especially if you want them to paint furniture with you. And you kind of want to be on the same page so that when you go junk in, they're not going to look at you like, what would you do with that? What the heck would you do with that, right? They'll know because they'll be watching this with you. So we got people checking in from Irwin, PA. We hey, got Irwin. checking in from Cole Township, PA. Oh my God. Uh, North Carolina. Uh, you Carolina. better be good. Your parents are on. Hey, Mom and Dad. Look so, what I'm um, Carrie, Karen wants to know, she's yes. thinking about painting an old piano in my family room. What do you say? We have, and we did, yes. and we will continue to paint old pianos. It Heck works yeah. Yes. Yep, I painted a piano in one jar of our paint. So for those of you who wonder how far one of these jars go, let me just tell you, I painted an entire piano, it's a stress style, with a bench in one jar. And that was done in our black velvet. We have a really nice black velvet, and it's a true black because sometimes you find colors that may sh maybe like show up navy and things like that. Well, let me just tell you, we have a true black, and it is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And we have uh, Cacho, Arizona, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, <laughs> Barbara says uh, to her friend, "Watch on your pants, like free therapy." Yeah. I'm glad it's therapy for you guys. This is my life. Yes. Watching my, and I my couldn't thing. be happier. Yeah. Let me just tell you, I could not be happier. Yes. I'm so happy you guys are here with me. Yes. This is awesome. Anyway, so, yeah. And he's like, whatever. Right. Right. 
Whatever. Whatever. Um, oh, no one else checking in for Bucks County, PA? Hello, uh, east side of the state. Uh, Carrie Wills is checking in from Iron River in the UP. Yeah. Carolyn Green is checking in from Carolyn, Alabama. Ah, wow, matches your name. Melissa Willis, Wilmore, Kentucky. I missed the start of the show. Did you show the piece from last night? We yeah, did. Show we just purpose. haven't. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Can you there. see it? Guys, did anybody see the home talk I did yesterday? I made that little flower hanger. Yeah. Over there, if you didn't, make sure you find it on my wall because it is the cutest thing that you can make for fall and to jazz up your door, and you can do it any style that you want, okay? So we are closing in here. We're closing in, we're closing in, we're closing Natalie's in. Natalie's checking in for Porty. She used the glaze the first time Yay. with the balm of jade to make it sign. Oh, Ma, did you like it? Did you yeah. like it? Because that will give you a really cool look, those colors used together. Uh, Ashley's checking in from Carleton, Michigan. Barb's like, yes, if I... If you would have told me ten years. This is what I'd be. Ten years ago, this is what I'd be doing. I would have told you you were nuts, laughing in the face and walked away. <laughs> uh, Laura Bazell is checking in from New Albany, Indiana. Uh, Mimi is checking in from Seneca, South Carolina. Hey, uh, Katrina is checking in from Salina, Kansas. Just moved from Maryland. Wow, that's a big, big move from Maryland to Kansas. Uh, what color is the paint? This is called Teal River that I'm putting on right now. Yes. And this is one coat all over. I did not have the prime. I did not have the sand. I'm just taking the piece as is and working with it, okay? So I am working with it. I'm going to dry this real fast, and then I'm going to get ready to glaze it, okay? I'm going to do this all tonight, um, and it's going to happen really quickly so you guys can see what's going on. Yeah, that was like, you're like finished all. <laughs> I'm telling you. Seriously. Yeah, so like when you wonder like, you know, what could I do today? Can Grab you, a piece of furniture and go. Can Absolutely you use go. your paint with crackle? Absolutely. Yeah, actually, I've done a couple of videos where I've showed you how to create a crackle effect. Maybe you just need to do a crackle effect. We'll do, I'll tell you what, since we're here for the next, well, this is day two of 30. So what we'll do is I'll include a piece of furniture where we work together to do the crackle effect so you guys can see um, how I do it again. How does that sound? So the next 30 days, you want to make sure you're here because... This is where I am, so if you have any questions, and especially if you want to start like a furniture painting business, that sort of thing, this is a great place to join me here for the next 30 days. I'm going to commit to you guys because we get so many questions, okay? Bon so I'm hoping you yeah. will be pros after the next 30 days. Bonnie, send us pictures of that. Private messages, the pictures of your Lichtenberg pieces. So, uh, let's see. Oh, your Aunt Julie's on here. Say hello. Aunt Julie! So, anyways, uh, okay. Did you get any berries this year, Aunt Julie? Berry season. I guess it would be right around now, right? Down here is well, a little bit earlier. Well, it's already gone. Down here it is, but yeah. back home, back home in Canada, Newfoundland, sometimes we do things a little different in the season. Gail's checking in from New Zealand. Hello, New Zealand. Hopefully you can hear this. I'm going to turn the hair dryer on so that I can dry this piece real fast so we can do our next step, okay? Yeah, Sonia right. has an obsession with hobbits, so she wants to go to New Zealand to visit the hobbit town in New Zealand. I want to go for the king in Wanaka, but she wants to go for hobbits. So, <laughs> Doris is checking in from hey, Cranberry. Uh, Julie's at your mom and dad. Oh, Why are you watching on two different they're things? They're probably eating lobster. Okay, i got to turn the hair dryer off for this. They're probably eating lobster right now. They're all around eating some good home cooking, right? Do something's going down, some traditional new flam meals, and I am here. Okay, so like you need to mail me down some lobster, okay? Is that all white right. table in the back for sale? Which, which one? Our, our display table? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's for sale. I'm everything's here. for sale. So Bart said, so "Don't stop me on blueberries." <laughs> <laughs> Cherry's checking oh, in from Cleveland. Uh, Denise is checking in from Chicago. I have an old vanity that has about four layers of paint. Will this paint cover it? Yes, it will. Uh, Sherry, I uh, love watching you get paint. Uh, Julie says they're all gone. She's eating fresh cod now. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, torture. Pure torture, right? Janice says Long Island, New York loves you. We love Long Island. Hicksville. Uh, West Babylon. Okay, I have a question about... What was it Ron Conkema. Long, Long Island, right? Yeah. If you ever ran into um, 
What's it, what was that show called that I used to really be into? The Long uh, Island Medium! Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. seriously. She was from Hicksville. I went to uh, Long Island when we passed through one time and I was really hoping I would like, run into the supermarket and see her or something like that. Anybody else uh, watch that show? Uh, uh, Nancy says hi from Massachusetts. Could you use a roller to paint the top of the you can, table? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You can use whatever you want. So, oh, Sarah's checking in from Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, Irene is checking in from Texas. What's the next contest? I need paint. Really want to try your paint. Yeah, it's, about the yeah. contest. Uh, the contest is share. We'll put your uh, your name will go into our uh, name picking uh, app on the iPad, and it will spit out a name. It's the paint you're using a chalk paint. It is a chalk type paint, yes. It's our own brand. Uh, we ship it all over the US. You can show some colors while I'm driving. Okay, while we're driving this, let's go over and look at some colors. So, so yeah, get ready because if your name is picked, you will need to spit out a color. So, yes, yeah, so you'll get to pick from one of these colors. We actually have. 32 colors all together. Oh, Idaho is in the house again. So, oh, I'm about to walk into the project. Eileen says she's from uh, Hicksville. My friend I was in the Marine Corps with, she has a beauty salon in Hicksville. So, Stacy is a military spouse. Just moved from Rhode Island to Oregon. So, she must be Navy. Sub, I bet. Her husband's probably in the sub. So, uh, Tori's checking in from Bruno, Utah. Uh, Sherry says she'll be there next month to buy some fabulous paint. Awesome. Debbie's checking in from North Huntington. Must make a visit. How can I order some paint? You can go to the top of our Facebook page and hit the Shop Now button. Now, just to let everybody know, that it's $15 flat rate shipping for up to six jars. Um, if you order seven, if you order more than six, it will not let the order go through. You have to order it to It'll give you a checkouts. weird error that yeah. says something about can't be shipped, and that's why, because yeah. I can only fit six products in the flat rate shipping box. So if you want more than that, just do two separate orders. Hopefully that helps somebody out there that might be uh, having problems with that tonight. Adam Trout, she says she needs to check it out. She'll be starting on her little girls' room in October. Sherry, Matt, have you ever shown yourself? I'm here in North Carolina. Give away. Well, it would be no fun if I showed myself. <laughs> I'm, as a matter of fact, I can go to jail for that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Jan says, watch the Long Island is on. Woohoo, love Long Island. Amy Sue, uh, hi, I love the color of this. Probably one of my favorite junk monkey paint colors. Where can you order your paint? Andy says, I learned the hard way I had seven. Uh, did one jar do that turquoise table? Absolutely. Actually, I probably use as much of the jar. Yeah, it goes long, yeah. long way. So when we say you get a few pieces of furniture out of one jar, yeah, you could probably get like, I'd say six pieces like this out of one jar. But we always say, rule of thumb, especially if you're just beginning to use the paint so you kind of know how much paint you need, you're painting one big piece, grab one jar to go with the paint in one piece, okay? Sound, sound good? And then as you use it, you'll see, you'll know that you can get several nightstands out of one jar. It's, it goes so far. Nancy says, I have a piece of wood. I was thinking of just glazing over it. Can I do this glazing with paint? Um, we have a line of glazes. Right now we're just going browns and blacks. Those are the most popular colors. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's, it's a little bit different formulation than our paint. What does she want to do? She said uh, she has a piece of wood and was thinking about just glazing over it. Can I do this with, with uh, this glazing with paint? Glaze is actually not a paint. So um, it sticks on to paint. So ideally you would want to paint your piece of wood and then you want to put your glaze on top of your paint. Because what it does is it, like I said, it's not paint. It moves around on top of your paint and you're able to leave it in places if you want more details to show through. Maybe if you have a dresser that has detailing or scroll work or something really pretty. Sometimes you see <clears throat> dressers, excuse me, on Pinterest where you know they have amazing detail and you can really see the pop. It's because somebody took the time to wipe on some glaze, 
and then wipe it off, but leave it in those cracks, okay? So you can play with it. So on a plain piece of wood, glaze is really not gonna be the thing that you want. If you're trying to get a color on a plain piece of wood, then what you want is stain, because stain is made to go straight into the wood pores. So glaze goes on top of paint, but raw wood, if you're trying to darken it, go with a stain, okay? Hopefully that. Barbara Jacques is being spooky again. She said, will you do something with stenciling during the next 28 days? She right loves now. the bee stencil. I'm gonna do the bee stencil she, for her. She was gonna do the bee stencil. Okay, we're gonna do the bee so, um, Lisa, do you have a lavender or lilac color? Yes. As a matter of fact, we do. <laughs> so, uh, Kathy says she has two nightstands to have smoke damage from a house fire. Would you recommend any uh, prep before? This is our lavender lilac color. It's called lavender blush. So there you go. Give me a second. Can you keep going? Yeah, absolutely. So Kathy says she has uh, fire. Um, I imagine it's uh, smoke damage. Um, Primer that is specifically for smoke damage. She trying, what is she trying to do? She wants to redo them. They have smoke damage from a house fire. Um, there are primers that that are made that you can get at Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot yep. that are made for smoke damage to cover up that smell. And then paint over them regularly. Yeah, and then paint over them just the normal way after you treat them. So anyways, can you add color to glaze? Um, right now we only have two colors, black and brown, but we're planning to roll out more colors. Uh, Jamie A. Bear Broussard is checking in from New Iberia, Louisiana. Uh, Kelly, are you going to stencil anything on this table? Yes, 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 we are. Actually, we've got to do another layer on top. Uh, Kim O'Banion says, beautiful. Uh, whoa. Like kills. Okay. <laughs> Joanne Gatorenzo, what is the markings on the table? Actually, that was a... Um, I was sanded through, and that was I'll actually yep. um, that was actually a tannin bleed so we'll through. So we'll use this as an example. <clears throat> this is actually good. So like I said, you're seeing me paint this live on here right now. So have you guys ever painted a piece of furniture where you see this bleed through? Like Matt said, the tannins come through. Take a look at it up close if you want real quick. And I'll show you how to fix it, okay? So this is what I would do. At the very end of this, we're gonna put a sealer on, okay? That's what you would normally do. Can you guys pick that up right here? So oh, sometimes, yeah. especially, yeah. So especially if you have a piece, sometimes you just don't know. Maybe it's made with a wood that just has um, oils and what you call like tannins that are actually in the wood. They're natural, they're a part of the wood, and they leak out, so that's exactly what happens. Um, it could also be like if maybe if um, you have a piece that has cigarette smoke into it, um, or a lot of smoke in the house, uh, that sort of thing can seep back out through. So at the very end, this is what I would recommend for you guys to seal with. And the bonus is, if you choose to seal with a, um, a clear coat like this here, can you guys see that up close? This is called the polyacrylic. It's one of my favorite uh, products to use when I'm sealing furniture. The nice thing is that when I put this on, it's a protective finish, but if I wanted to cover up the bleed through, what I do is let this dry. I would apply a coat of this right now, okay, on top of this portion right here. So remember, this is a protective coat. So a quick tip for you guys who are watching tonight, I'm glad this happened so that you can learn here because sometimes you get into a piece and you're like, whoa, where did that come from, right? So what you do is brush on some of the polyacrylic on top of this area, you'd let it dry. You put on a second coat over this area, you'd let it dry. And then what happens is everything is held back because that protective um, seal is now right here over this area right here, okay? So, what's that? Well, let me grab a brush here real fast. Grab Let's see what we do. Let's see. Hi, Jamie. Uh, Galen's chicken in from New Zealand. It's like one o'clock in the morning over there right now, right? She's a night owl. Is it? Or, no, it's it's next day, isn't it? I can't remember how it works. It's been a while since I was living in Japan. So, anyways, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Joan said she just had that happen to a piece she painted white. Yes. Did so what did you do? That. White? Yeah, exactly. And it can show up with any color, but especially when you use light colors. So take a look right here because I just opened my sealer so you guys can uh, see what it looks like. 
It looks white in the can, but I promise you it dries clear, okay? You never wanna put too much of it on. So what I would do is let this dry, and then I would take my clear coat and put over this area. So think about this as sealing that back, okay? So if you can imagine, once this dries, then I can hit it again with paint, and this will hold back the tannins, okay? It's gonna hold back the bleed through that's coming through. And I might have to do this a couple times because sometimes you do run into pieces that are problem pieces. So light coat, let go, okay? I'm gonna let that go. And I'm, then I would have to dry it. Jamie says she likes that in the middle. She what? Jamie Todd says she likes that in the middle. Well, you know what? I was thinking, sometimes you can work with it too. So if I wanted to, we should, you know what? I'm gonna show you how to roll with it. Wait, wait, well, let me do dry one it, half, right? do one half, show them how to fix it, and then show them how to roll with it. We're doing the fix right now, okay? And then I'm gonna show you another way to roll with it. Oh, thank you, John. Hey, Jamie, how are ya? Oh, thanks, Tracy. We appreciate all the cheers you guys are giving us. Yay, yeah. Somebody out there is gonna win a jar of paint. So get your jar color in mind, because if it's you, we're gonna give you a couple minutes to be on here live and pick from our wall of paint tonight, okay? and uh, we'll get that out to you tomorrow. So if you're outside of Canada and you are randomly picked, you're gonna get a t-shirt because the laws prevent us from being able to ship paint across the border. So you still get something fun, something junk monkey that you can wear and uh, make everybody else jealous. But if you're in the US, we're gonna let you pick one of our uh, awesome, awesome colors, okay? She <laughs> it's 120 in New Zealand and uh, hair dryers are her best friend also. <laughs> This clear coat dries really, really fast, just to let you guys know, okay? It goes really fast. So what's everybody up to tonight? Uh, Anybody on vacation watching us? I don't, know. I, I don't want All right, so uh, this is I'm dry. Gonna... So it's nice and dry. Yeah. So we're going to show you, we're going to fix one half. Well, I'll actually, I'll do the fix right now. So I'm going to okay. put on one more coat, okay? So I'm putting a second coat because I really want to make sure that when I put my paint on, that this is sealed back and held back, okay? So it's a sealer, so we're going to seal this mark back. So to so the person that said that they painted something in white and they had this happen, what did you do to fix it? Or did you just kind of like be like, oh man, what do I do, right? What do you do? So I'm curious to hear what, uh, what you did. Yeah, uh, Eileen Trotter said she wondered if she could do that to her front door because the contractor spilled uh, something on a small section of the door. It looks like rust at this point. Oh. No matter how many times she paints it, it leads through it. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I think you could probably uh, fix it like this, yep. right? And you can also find shellacs that are meant to do it as well. So you're going to look for a clear coat that's going to seal in what you got, right? And then you would use your paint to go over it again. So yep. this was just a second light. Right here. And you see, yeah, that's the same clear coat we use. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, the clear coat, Melissa, is water-based Minwax Poly Acrylic. Nicole Connor says she's on vacation. Oh, Lisa, we're about to use the stencil. It's super, super easy. Yeah. So this is still drying. I'm gonna kind of rush it for you guys tonight. So normally what I would do, just to make sure that this is really dry, because it's still kind of warm from the hair dryer, right? So what you'd want to do is just let this harden, and then you see how pronounced it is right now. That's because we put more of that clear coat on and we're really pulling it out. So it's gonna dry, it's gonna hold it back, and like I said, do a couple layers. I would let this sit for, like, uh, like I said, like overnight if you can, or let it sit for like a few hours. Then you would come back and put your paint over the top of it, okay? And then your paint would cover over it. So Me and we're you gonna go ahead. Elaine. What's that? <laughs> she says, "Wish I was on vacation." <laughs> so, uh, Beverly. So uh, let's see if this works. All it's right. called Till River. So let's see. So right now I've put two coats of it on. Like I said, normally I would let this sit a little bit. We're gonna rush it for tonight because you guys are on here watching. And uh, but yeah, this is kind of what you would do. This is exactly. This is not kind of what you would do. This is exactly what you would do. You'd seal it in and then paint it over and make it magically go away. Sound good? How does that sound? How does that sound? All right. And we are fixed. 
So now you will go all over. I'm gonna stop right there and we're gonna let that dry and blend in as well. But I wanna show you the stencil, okay? So let me show you real fast how to do a quick stencil. I have the B1 with me right here. Oh, thanks, Barb. What's Barb saying? She's like chilling and just hanging out with you guys. That's awesome, Possum. Okay, let's do a stencil You've for somebody who wants to learn. What's up? Listen to who, me? me? You. Because what? Because I say things like two shakes of a lamb's tail? Awesome possum. Yeah, it is <laughs> awesome possum. Totally is awesome possum. Jamie, we will get to it. She said boo, you should have left it. That's it. Next time I see you, you're, you're <laughs> well, getting... I'm gonna, I'm gonna like put you in a headlock and give you a Dutch rub. Okay, well here, here's how we could have left it, okay? So, we'll, we'll do, t I'll use this as an example since you guys are on here with me. So when this happens, I could fix it like I did, let it dry properly and, and just go work around it like I did, just do the same fix as I did. So if you're out there junking this summer, this is what you wanna do. And by the way, in September, I am going to be holding I'm gonna figure out which format I'm gonna do, but I'm actually gonna be holding a day, like a time in the evening, maybe on a Tuesday evening where we meet together virtually and I'll help anybody out there who needs help with starting their furniture painting business, okay? So if you wanna get into this, this is how I started doing what I do. It's grown and gravitated and into all kinds of things, but if you need some help, I'm gonna help you guys. Okay. So let's let it dry right now in the middle, okay? Go ahead. Our paint is water-based, so it'll wash off easily. Yeah. Um, this, stays, uh, this stencil, is from Maison du Stencil. Maison du Stencil. Maison du Stencil. Yep. So, you know how my friend Jamie on here, who is an awesome friend of our shabby shop, said you could just roll with it, you could leave it, you could. Here's the other way. Black hides all. Okay, so if I'm going to paint a piece of furniture, yeah, let's have a conversation right here of you and me. Can they see me? All right, so I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you a very, very important tip, okay? So if you find a very, very old antique piece of furniture and you want to paint it if it does not need to be in white or cream or anything like that if you can live with a medium color to a dark color you're probably gonna be more happier with it because you may have to deal with things like tannins because think about antiques they've been in like homes where there's lots of maybe secondhand smoke uh, they could have been like something somebody said like maybe fire damage um, just over time they get dirt in them as well right and what happens is the varnish that's on it it breaks <laughs> down so when you put products on top of that it reactivates it sometimes and you get things like tannins that come through or other dirt that resurfaces so if I'm painting an antique for my shop and it's really really old and this is team yeah team paint wood right right like I said in the beginning so nobody freak out oh my god she's gonna paint an antique totally paint an antique you know what's your life paint it I give you permission. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it for all its glory. So uh, what I was going to say is, but if you can uh, maybe pick a darker color, you're probably going to have an easier time with that piece because it's going to hide any flaws that you may not even know there's tannins coming up because black is an amazing color. Think about it, ladies. We put on black when we want to look good, right? We talk about have everybody having a black dress, right? A you know, everybody loves that classic black because it does, it hides, it hides things. Our paint. So, oops, sorry. No, what I was going to say Our is, paint can go on anything. You don't need to prime or no. sand. It sticks to anything. And by the way, metal, I'm, glass, I'm, you name it. I'm going to over paint right now. So remember too that when you paint pieces, if you ever want to change it out, just pick a different color. I'm showing you an option that I could have done. So if I did not want to do that fix and the repair that just happened <laughs> on the bleed through, I could totally just paint the top of it black. How easy would that be? Can you yeah. guys see it over here? Yes. You want to come this way and get this view real quick? Okay. Ava so, says, do you have this something in a golden oak color to love this fix? Avis, go check out the golden oak cabinets that we repaint all the time. The kitchen cabinets that look, we guys, fix. So yeah, if you even if you do a table and two-tone because this happens, do this as an example. Fix it, paint it black paint it dark brown black and dark brown we have a candy bar brown and we have a black velvet two classic colors those are the only black the only brown we offer because they're perfect okay they're awesome um, so anyway there you go the other thing is you could always dark glaze it if you want and I'll show you how to glaze here in just a second but down the other end I'm gonna put this B on because everybody's talking about stenciling and stenciling is one of my favorite things so I think what I'm gonna do since I put black on here is let this dry and then I'm gonna paint it all in black and I'll actually put maybe a white B on here. How does that sound? Teal bottom, 
dark black top and a white bee. I think that would be beautiful. Or a cream bee. That would be really cool. Maybe use our antique lace or a vintage white. But I'm going to show you while this is setting up down here um, how I love to stencil. Okay, you guys ready? Same brush. Okay, I'm going to use a black down here because I know it's going to show up against the teal really nice. So all you have to do is really just offload your brush. Same brush. No, I don't use um, pouncers, spouncers, those sponge on a stick, okay? I love to use my uh, cheap, shabby brush. I'll use it over and over again. You can see they even start to rust here around here. That's because they've been washed so many times. And then I toss them and they're like right around less than a buck. We sell them here for 85 cents. So I don't feel uh, guilty about that, right? Now watch Eileen the magic. Said, cream for the bee. Love Kelly it. Kelly Ansel says antique white for the bee. Janice yep. says go with the teal bee once we get the top painted black. That would be beautiful uh, too. Whoever asked earlier to see the green paint uh, selection. Yeah, I will show it to you in just a bit. All right. I, I didn't ignore you. I'm just going to show you. Yeah, let's do the we bead and one, then we'll do two, it. two, three, four, five, six, seven, like ten greens to be honest with you. So here we go. All I'm doing is using this brush. Sometimes it's so funny because I had a comment one time. Somebody said, "Look how hard she's trying to get the paint." That's actually a technique I'm using, just to let you guys know. Because I don't have a lot of paint on my brush, I can I can like do this a lot, right? Dab, 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 yeah, dab, dab. I can. <laughs> yeah, what he said, I can do it again. I can. Dab, 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 dab. There you go. All right, thank All you, right. thank you, thank you so much. See, yeah, yeah. see, we are we are we're like tag teaming it tonight. Lori said, "Have you ever painted on black and white over it with black trim through?" Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, we've done that quite a bit. Yeah, on my blog, I actually did a stand for somebody. I blog, wait a by second, the way. Wait a second. Wait a second. Go ahead. Dab, 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 dab. Thank you. Do it one more time. Dab, 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 dab. All right, you just like doing that, don't you? Um, our, uh, <laughs> we started our business for who asked uh, about five years ago out of our garage. Uh, we were both corporate longer, people. Longer than that. Well, we've been doing it for yeah. eight years. Um, for the first few years, it was making our house uh, beautiful and basically putting pieces in our house. And then we would go to auctions together. Um, no, 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 no. The first few years, it was me coming home from work. Right. And like one in the morning. It's always fun to see how you and work. And it tired from putting up with people all day, being oh. an executive oh, chef. Oh, I, I got a good and tip. And then uh, walking into me. the bathroom and going, what the hell happened to my bathroom? Because Where's I totally planked the walls while you were gone. Where's my razor? Where am I? Whose house is this? Seriously, guys. Okay, I got a quick tip and I got a funny thing. So he would go to work. I, he would go to work and I would be home working on the house. And when he would come home, he'd be like, whoa. And I'd be just waiting for him. You know when you chase something in the house and you're like just waiting for somebody to uh, notice what you've done? Yeah. It was slow, cruel torture. I never knew why I was coming All right. home to it. I got a story to tell these guys. Can yeah. they see me here? Hopefully you can. I can't tell by looking at my Just phone. Just be quiet and whether dead, or not. No, no, no. I'm not dead, dead, dead. I'm going to blah, 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 really quick, okay? okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, somebody right. wants to know before you get into that. I got a tip. Don't let me forget what I have to say. All right. All right. All right, All right. Tell me. What? Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Kelly wants to know how we came up to make our own paint. Well, because I knew I wanted a paint that I could work with that work the way I wanted it to work and my husband's background is actually a chef and uh, yeah he even drinks uh, his cocktails out of beakers and things like that no I'm not joking okay so he's very good at working with chemistry. putting yeah chemistry together right well we had great chemistry right and uh, <laughs> so yeah he yeah so anyway he actually is kind of the chef behind the recipe uh, that we tweak to make it just the way we want it. For those of you who wonder what do we call junk monkey paint, um, I always like to think that, you know, grease monkeys tinker with mechanics and work on vehicles. Junk monkey, we tinker with treasures, right? And uh, we like to give new life to old things. So that's where the junk monkey thing came. But anyway, I've got to tell you something really, really quick because this is a good one. When Here he, we go. Listen, when he's talking about that night that he got a call while he was at work and I was like, hey, what time are you off work? because we gotta go pick up this uh, beautiful dresser that I saw on a burn pile by the side of the road, okay? And it was raining and anyway. So I went there, I totally tried to lift it myself, I couldn't, and plus he had the truck, there was no way I could do it myself. And uh, so, but here's, here's how I got this wonderful tip. So this is, this is this, take notes of this, and if you're on tonight's day two challenge, you're gonna know the special tip. The special tip is, if you're ever driving by the, down the road and you see a piece of furniture by the side of the road, and you know somebody's gonna get it before you do, but you cannot lift it like a dresser or a buffet or something like that. Here's what you do. You know what you can lift? You know what you can lift. You can lift the drawers out. 
So what you do is you go and you take all the drawers out, okay? The four drawers, the six drawers, the eight drawers, because they will fit in the back seat, right? You know what I'm talking about? And the next person that comes by, do you really think they're gonna wanna dress her with all the drawers missing? You have just narrowed your chances by like, right? So then when you can get your husband, you can go back and get the frame and you got the whole piece, all right? So thank me later, but was that not a good tip? Was that yes. not a good tip, right? That's a good one. Okay, as you can see, it's still this drying, is drying yeah. and it's blending in. Yep. So this will need just one more little exactly. coat yep. over top. And, and it'll disappear. Be... So, but I think what I'm gonna do <coughs> is, because remember how I said you can you can paint over pieces. So I paint this piece teal, but you know what? In a month time, I changed my mind and I want it yellow. I can paint it all over again in yellow because the paints all cancel out each other. So it's really easy to play with, right? You guys can totally, when I say design on a dime and the power of paint, you know, you don't mm -hmm. have, you can keep changing what you have already. You don't need to get rid of what you got, find new. Take what you have that works in your space. Maybe it's the perfect, the perfect shape, <clears throat> the perfect size, just paint it, okay? So I'm gonna show you real fast on this end how we glaze, okay? Who's excited? Because I'm gonna show you Hey, Crystal, we're in Florida. Crystal. Oh, you can make sure from under a bed storage. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Um, yeah, the only thing you gotta hope for about if you take the drawers is if somebody has doesn't have a huge collection of baskets. Well, that's true, but you've just narrowed the chances, right? You've totally just narrowed the chances. Yeah, you, Marie, you can stand the black let the chill show through. You can always uh, add a little bit of chill on top as well. Look at this, guys. It's already dry. Do you love the bee? Do you oh, love the bee? It's the bee? So I can sand this bee a little bit if I want to fade it out. That's again. We'll do another piece another night where we do some fading of the stencils. But I'll show you real fast how we glaze. How we glaze because it is so, so much fun. Okay, so hang tight. One second. One second. I'm one second. going to take Don't you over and show here. you the greens. Yes, yes. So we're going to go over to the greens. So. We got like a Kelly green here. We have Bahama J, which is like a blue green. We have a lime soda, which is a bright green. I think that's all the greens we have there. But we have what's called green turtle. We have our, our I love you more. We have a sage green, which is a very, very light green. It's a very, uh, you know, kind of a you know, neutral green. We also have mermaid tail, which is like a dark green uh, teal. Uh, we have grasshopper green which is a bright minty green. Um, and then we have moss green, which is kind of like a brownish green, very popular. We've done some kitchens in that. They've turned out great. Let me walk back over here. Um, we also have a forest green, which is like uh, your old, uh, you know, really dark uh, forest green. So there you go. So anyways. Uh, okay, all so right. So she done another layer, yep. la, 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 layer over top the uh, blue through. Karen Seidlitz wants some creams on this piece. Yeah, we can totally do that. Well, so right now, <laughs> well, what's going to happen is, honestly, I'm going to let this section dry because what we did was we used it as an example to show you how to fix a tan and a bleed through. So we got to let this dry right here, okay, first before I can do anything. But in the end, I think I'm going to paint it all over black. It's so easy to do, even though I'm working down at this corner to show you guys some different things that you can do. Guys, when we're off here, I'm going to paint this in black. I'll put maybe a cream bee on it because I love that idea. But uh, I'm going to show you down here, okay? So, or you better I... finish this piece or you're going to like flip. <laughs> all right, you're... let's work on the bee. All right, let's work on the bee. Okay. All right, so the bee is right here. So glaze. Who wants to know about glaze and how to use it and all the yumminess, okay? So like I said, this is my jar of glaze. It, it's... I always like have drip drabs left over for myself, so uh, my stuff is always messy and it's, it is what it is, right? But what glaze is meant to do is sit yes. on top of a piece and to totally make it basically look a little different. It makes it look old, it makes it look antique. So if you see pieces that look a little old and you're like, how do you get that kind of variation? I'm going to show you how you get it. Michelle wants to know about the black spots around your beat. Beat oh. comes just a little bit of bleed over. Here's the deal. If I wanted to get rid of those, I can either sand them off right now real lightly. I could go ahead, remember how I said our paint cancels out paint, which is a good tip because if you ever paint the stencil and uh, you accidentally got maybe your fingers on it or something like that. Oh, Karen, take, I'll show you the creams in a little bit. <laughs> just take more of the teal because it blends in. It does self-level and those will disappear. But I'm actually leaving them there because I'm going to glaze in black so you're not going to really notice it anyhow. Make sense? All right. 
How many colors do we have? We have 32 oh, on know. hand. We just added three but, today. Yeah, but online. we do like 32 plus. We do custom colors. We do all kinds of stuff. All right, so we're, so. we're putting glaze on. Oh, my God. What are you doing to the bee? I know. Trust me. All you know bees are endangered, right? Now, we're, of course, we're using black glaze and on black bees. So we'll see mm -hmm. how this goes. Mm -hmm. But here's what mm -hmm. you do. We put mm -hmm. it on. We take our water bottle and a damp rag. And we wipe it off. Okay? Nancy Rice, the address to our shop is 111 South Market Street, Ligonier, Pennsylvania, 15658. What do you guys think so far? Are you loving it as much as I am? Oh my God. So if you can imagine um, this, whole, this entire piece glazed, it will be beautiful. So our, I'll show you something as well. Go ahead. Our paints come in 16 ounce pint jars. Yep. And they're 1075 a pint. 1075. You can totally transform a piece, a big piece. Do you have to do a, a top coat before you glaze? No. No. No, you don't. No. A glaze is meant to go. Think about glaze on a donut. Glaze sits on top of a donut. Glaze sits on top of, in, in the paint world, on top of paint. Okay, so you see how dark I have it right there? If I want it lighter, all I'm going to do is put a little bit more water in my rag. And now, do you see how I'm light, lightening it? So you guys, whoops, sorry, I went a little bit too deep right there. You see that? This is because I'm kind of rushing it tonight, and that paint was still a little wet right there. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so it's okay. We're just doing this for demonstration She's trying purpose. to kill the bee. I'm painting this all over black anyhow. But I want to show you she what I mean, like right? She doesn't like bees. <laughs> Who doesn't like bees? You. You just tried to kill the bee. I did, all right? But you guys see what I mean, okay? So you can totally glaze over. I can go over the legs. I can go over everything in it, all right? Now, what I am going to do, so you got, did you guys learn something new with this? The glaze. So the glaze that we have comes in black and brown. Those are the two most classic glazes there are. The reason is, it's because glaze is meant to um, basically make pieces look antique looking. And when do pieces look antique? When they're dark brown and they're black looking, right? Not usually when they're teal or red. So that's why we don't do right now any other extra sea of glazes because those are the most basic ones that you can use, okay? So there you go. And I'm gonna do some distressing to this piece overall, but honestly, here's the truth. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this dry. Don't hate me, because I'm gonna totally paint this. Don't over. hate her because she's beautiful. Don't hate me, don't hate me. This is what's really gonna happen. Oh. Yep. This is what's gonna happen, guys. This entire top is going black. It's going black, all right? And the reason why is because we're gonna let this part dry but I hope you see that you can't make a mistake, guys. It's so easy. It is so easy, I promise you. It's so addicting. Um, and when you see, if you start doing this sort of thing, you totally see furniture in a whole different light because when you are out and about, you will look at furniture and go, I could totally paint that. I could totally do something with that. So there we go, there we go, Genesis there we go, there we go. She needs to do a butterfly for lupus awareness. I did not know a butterfly was the lupus symbol. My father suffers from lupus, so that's why I was just kind of yeah. like... Now this section over here is still wet, so I'm just going to kind of let that be. Well, that's why let you, got, that be. That's ha, why ha, you ha. got a hair dryer. I know. I know. I've <laughs> Listen to you over there. Listen yeah. to you. So Schnotty. let this spot go tonight. Schnotty. And if you keep it up, I'll get schnooty. Yes, there yes. you go. I'm there sure you, you will. Yes. Absolutely. I have no doubt. All right, so what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, were you inspired tonight? Were you inspired you tonight? You finish that talk. I gotta let it dry that. first. Oh, you used to stop to dry it. You want me to do Here, I will dry it. Please. Oh my gosh. All right, do we have... They want to see the bill. Everybody's going to reveal the bee. Reveal the bee. The what? The bee. You're going to have to do a clean bee now. I am going to do a clean bee. You got to hurry up. Uh, the glaze is six ninety five for an eight ounce jar. Show the jar. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm taking you over. I'm going to show you the creams and the glaze. So we're coming over here. These are our glazes. This is a brown, and this is a black. Nancy, you don't have to sell what you don't want, want to. This is called antique lace. This is one of our most popular creams. Off white. Uh, we also have, uh, we have buttercream, which is kind of a yellow, uh, very light, you know, yellow there. Um, uh, this is our vintage white, that's a pure white, not really a cream. Um, this is our oatmeal, it's uh, one of our creams as well. 
and this is sandy tan. It's a little bit darker. And then you get into, uh, and this is uh, called Grange Anatomy. It's a, of course, Grange. Ask them do they know what Grange is. Do you guys know what Grange is? So pinks, we have bubblegum pink, which we just added today. Okay. And then we have a lavender, which is kind of pink. And then uh, we have Princess Peach, which is peach. And I don't know why I showed you that, because it's like that. But we have a coral, which is kind of orangey pink. Uh, can you paint over the glaze? No problem. Yes. And then we have Berry Dance, which is a vibrant hot pink. Blues. Blues, we have our navies. We have our Bahama Jade. We have, let's go over here. We have um, uh, our Liberty Blue, which is a deep blue. And then we have uh, our Till River, which we're using tonight. And then we have uh, Misty Aqua as well. And uh, I don't know what else we have here. But look, uh, Stormy Forest, which is kind of a blue, green, gray. And then Blue Slate, which is a blue gray. So anyway, Barnyard Red. Yes, we have Barnyard Red. Uh, we have, yeah, we have uh, Candy Apple. And then we have, this is uh, Garnet Red. Uh, the reds look a little pink in the jar, but they actually dry. Like this one looks pink in the jar, but it actually dries a true red. So just to let you know. Hey, Liza from Hollister. Uh, can you paint over oil base paint? Absolutely. You can paint on everything. Uh, Woodland Fairy, do we have any in stock? We have one left. One Woodland Fairy left, actually. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I'll show you. Um, as you can see here, this is a, a jar. And it's so tough. You can, like, this is by itself. I'm scratching it. Uh, and you can see it didn't do anything. Okay. So, it, it's pretty tough. And then you can just seal over it. And I bet the uh, shirts are 20 bucks. So, anyway. So, she just did the top of this. Yep, it's dry, but it's so. Can you put glaze over the polyacrylic? Yeah, I guess. Under it, under it. Well, they asked if you could do it over it if they have a piece that's already sealed. Uh, yeah, then seal it again. Yes, then seal it again if you did not hear that. What color are you use for the our, our uh, nest? Um, actually, this was a this was a technique that we did on Home Talk. Um, this is actually this blue color. If you look real close, is actually a. Uh, a napkin transfer where we took napkin and put it one to the piece and then yeah it's on our blog at styleshabby.com so anyways yeah so it's actually a uh, tutorial that we did on there um, what how you mod podge uh, uh, napkins to a piece yeah <clears throat> All so, right, guys. I'm talking and showing stuff, and our cool. viewership is dropping. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, for those of you who want to be, all right, so this is kind of drying. You saw me take it through a whole different kinds of transformations and stages tonight, which is really cool. So, hopefully, that reinforces into you guys to know that you can't make mistakes, okay? Feel empowered, especially with this paint. There's no mistakes. All right, so I'm going to use our antique lace because it is a, take a look at that, yumminess. Can you guys see that? It is not white. Like, if I were to put a white uh, towel up next to it, you could see the cream, right? Well, that has purple because that's our son's thirst pockets. What's that? Riley got the uh, purple in the... Uh... Well, it's white and purple, <laughs> yeah. Our son, he has no our son is very particular um, about his paper towels he used for drying. They have to have thirst pockets. All right. Now we're so, doing the dab, 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 okay? Dab, 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 Exactly. Exactly. We're doing the dab, dab, dab. Dab, 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 all right, they're gonna think we're crazy, right? Who thinks we're crazy already? Right, um, Seriously, I'm already listen, be yourself. <laughs> be yourself, all right. Be, be yourself. yourself, absolutely. R R R. Yeah. You know what? It's okay to let your little uh, what's that saying I hear? It's okay to let your little weirdo light shine. We don't judge. We don't judge. Just be yourself. Well, the cops do at two thirty in the morning. Well, I guess so. Anyway. <laughs> 
Well, I don't know how to answer that one, but yeah, exactly. 2.30 in the morning, at that point I'm going to bed, okay? I've probably gone to bed for a little bit, although I am a night owl, but 2.30 even is late for me, unless there's a good movie on Netflix. What's everybody watching on Netflix these days? Anything good? Oh, I need a new, uh, I need a new series to get into. It's terrible when you finish series and you're like, now what do I do? I watched Breaking Bad. Anybody else watch Breaking Bad? Watch yeah. the whole thing of that. She gets, we get into uh, series years after they're over. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Yay! Oh, oh, Yay! I love the bee. I love the bee. It's so cool, right? Bloodline. <clears throat> okay. Cool. There you go. All right, you want to come on the front? There's I'm the gonna, cream I'm bee. Gonna do something real quick. Ah, uh, the cream bee. There you go, ah. guys. By the way, I could go right now if I wanted to, um, and spray this down with a crud cutter, which is like a cleaner, and it'll take all this off um, and put it in the sink, okay? If I really want to. Here's the fun thing too. Since I've Frankie got... and Gracie. You know what? We started that, and I, I after about the fifth show, I just kind of lost it. But... Hey, here's a quick tip too, guys. So now that I've got cream up there. Uh oh. I may want to put some uh -oh. cream down here. Uh, Should I do it? Uh, Should I do it? Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah. What do you guys think? Oh my god, am I crazy? I don't know. I just might be. I uh, just watch might Bates be. Motel. We love Bates Motel. That was good. Actually, wasn't it? Uh, she got to see the last season. Actually, look, yeah. guys, how pretty is this? Being Mary Jane on Netflix is so good. Okay. Ooh, right. very nice. I've looked that one up. So, I like comedies too. Yeah, explain explain what you're doing. I'm showing you guys right now how. Uh, Carrie Hake said you started a day, 30 day series for me. Uh, <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. That is so awesome. So, yeah, guys, right now I'm telling you, like, as I work through this piece, and now it looks a little bit plain. I found the tannins. Originally, I was just going to do this all in teal. Showed you guys how to fix that, but I went ahead and did a black top. And Jim now I'm pulling some of the color down. Do you clean your cabinets before you paint? Yes, because yes, it's your cabinets. Yes, I don't want to prep. Otherwise, in a kitchen, yeah. there's lots of dirt and moisture and things like that that happen. Uh, so, uh, yeah. We, we have a home. video series yeah. of different styles of cabinets that we do where we teach you all of our... Tricks. Actually, we, we teach you all of our pro trip. Uh, tricks of how we actually do it. Yeah. And those are available for purchase. Give them the 50% uh, off code. Let's yeah, do it's it. It's the 50%. If you guys want to uh, get a cabinet video, they're 27, but we'll, they're half off. But we'll give you half off. Um, what's the code? 50, 50 O F F. Okay. 50 O F F. All together. All together will get you half off of a cabinet video if you're interested. Yep. So, what do you guys think? Hopefully, this gives you ideas. You can totally put colors on colors, okay? Uh, and make it your own. And oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Nancy. Nancy. What? She's losing us. She's heading into the mountains. Oh, hey. Heading <laughs> home, huh? Prison break. We watched that for a while, too, didn't we? Yeah, I think we watched a little bit of that. What was the last one we really got in? Son of Zorn. We watched all the Son of Zorn. Yeah. I watched How I Met Your Mother. That was so good. Mm. That was so good. Anybody watch that? And I love finding things on Netflix that have like totally long, long series. Oh, I guess we're watching Black Books now. Yeah. That's it's a like British the, comedy. Yeah. The IT Crowd was a really good one, too. If you're into comedy, you use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. British comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, Janet likes Black on Top and Queen for the Rest. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yep, I'm just kind of uh, mellowing I'm, I'm waiting for Stranger Things to come yes. out. Yes, yeah. anybody else love watching paranormal, sh paranormal shows? Yeah. I love to watch those, but I don't like watching alone, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Liz, the stencil came from Maison de Stencils. Yep, it's Maison They're an independent stencil company. Yep, come over here. Oh, uh, Sherry, we were like religious Walking Dead fans. Yes. And then we just got out of it about season five. And just, like, haven't gone back. You know when you, like, miss a season, and then you're like, I can't watch the first episode until I'm caught up? Yeah. Well, you know what? We are so far from caught up at this point. Yeah, we we're so to, like, busy. It's like... We need to, like, go back and start. So, yeah. it's kind of like Grey's Anatomy. I was really into that. And uh, I watched episode, I can't remember, like, maybe up to, like, season, like, six or seven. And I missed. And I'm like, I can't watch, can't watch, don't tell me what happens. By the way. And now it's like, what? By the way, we're an hour in and we're about 10% from. Okay, so we've got a clue. Oh, let's give a winner. Yeah, we got to pick a winner. Everybody share, everybody yeah. share right now. So that way Matt will go and find out who is the winner. Yeah, let me go and figure out app, who the winner is. It will tell us who has shared, so make yes. sure you. Uh, 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 
Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. All right, what do you guys think? I love it. I love it. I love it. See here. See, and this is totally not how I thought I was going to paint this. But it ended up coming out really cool. Is. Okay. And the big winner is. The winner is. Is Sherry Smith. Sherry Smith. Still on the broadcast right now. Sherry Smith, we're going to give you a couple minutes to respond. Girl, if you are, tell us where you're watching from so we know what your gift is. If you Sherry are, Smith. Out of the country. You got to message Sherry. us and tell you you are on. You have message below. one minute Say, and 45 I seconds. Here. I am here. If you don't take Sh Sherry, make sure you tell her right now. Call her. Sherry. Do you want to have Sherry. her? Sherry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's there. All right, girl. Okay, Sherry. Uh, where are you from? Where are you from? I think she's from South Carolina, if I remember correctly. Let me, let me. So, Sherry, what I need you to do is private message us on the page, and we will uh, um, get in We will get in contact <laughs> with you. Sorry, Sorry, my brain shut down. Is somebody ready to like call it quits or what? Yeah, I'm done. Come I'm on, this ready. is Team Pink Wood, so, guys. Anyways, as Seriously. you can see, there's still a little bit of teal coming Somebody needs cream. his uh, Red Bull. Yeah, I know right. what's this. So, anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, yeah, Sherry, all you have Sherry, to do is... Sherry, if you're in the States, message, message us. You will, can pick out any color of paint you would like. We're going to ship it to you? If you're north of the border, we will ship to you... A T-shirt. A T-shirt in yep. your size. Okay? Sound good? So just yeah. private message us, okay? So make sure we get so that So everybody tomorrow. else who's watching right now, if you come in tomorrow, you can enter tomorrow by sharing tomorrow's video. And once again, we will pick a random winner out of everybody on here. And we're doing that for the next 28 days after tonight. So there's 28 more chances so Matt for you to, to go win. Home. Matt needs to go home and get some sleep, all right? I do, we're back yes. here tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to paint tomorrow. We'll find something, though, maybe in the basement to paint. But, yeah, furniture for the next, for 30 days straight. So this is day two. People are saying, Piece please save your knees. Save my what? Knees. I know, right? I need to sit down. I keep saying I want to invent a, um, a tarp, a painter's tarp that is, like, bubble wrap, okay? Yeah. But, yeah, you can put your furniture on it, but it's bubble wrap for your knees. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, anyway, we'll be on here again tonight. Hopefully, you've been inspired. Tell me if you've been inspired because this is the whole point of doing this for 30 days to kind of empower you guys we, uh, to know what you need to do and what you need to do when you're like kind of facing a piece of furniture, right? Trisha, we are on for the next 30 days straight. Yep. Can you doing take a piece it? of furniture a day. Can you take it? We're also on Home Talk at least yeah. twice a week, hosting on there. And we also do our live kitchen cabinet reveals and yep. makeovers in people's on home. We're always on here. So you got somebody um, who needs to learn some tips. This is uh, the place to come. To order our paint, yep. you can go to jumpmonkeypaint.com, uh, jumpmonkeypaintcompany.com, yep. or styleshabby.com, or you just go to the top of our page and hit shop now. Yep. So just to let you know, okay? And a quick recap. What time tomorrow? Probably around the same time. time. Yep, the we can't be held to a uh, tight time because we are so We're all busy. Place. So, quick recap. Tonight, a piece that was painted by somebody else, and I don't even know what. I really don't care. All I knew is I wanted to make it mine. It had cool curves. I can actually lift this top up, and I can paint the inside as well, black if I want to, right? So the colors I used tonight for the base was the Teal River, which is a amazing, one of my favorite colors in the entire world, blue, uh, blue teal. Then on top of that, we did the black, which is our black velvet. I did show you guys tonight how to glaze the glaze. A lot of people used. like the teal better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. It's all up to you. We just got carried away. Okay, we can, yeah, absolutely. We're just here to hang out and have fun. I'm sorry we got carried away. We do that from time to time. Yeah. So this is the black glaze that we use. We use black, we do have brown. And then I went over and I put some, because I put the cream on here, the cream is actually called Antique Lace. And it is one of our most popular colors that we ship all over the country. It's a creamy white and it's awesome because it's not yellow. It's a perfect cream color. It is like coffee creamer creamy. It's beautiful. So that's the B. And then we also splashed a little bit over the teal. So okay. here's the thing. If I wake up tomorrow and I come in and I go, whoa, I went over more than that, guys, I can pick out any color I want and change this up. So you see, it is so easy because hey. it is permanent in a way. Like when you're putting paint on it, it's going to stick in. It's really good. You could strip it off if you really wanted to, if you have somebody in your family that like, why are you painting wood? It's still there, I promise. 
you can take it off. But the cool thing is that you can paint it over and over again. Yeah. Jennifer, we're live throughout the day, but our 30 day challenge will be between 7 and 9 each. Hopefully earlier because I, I, I would like to get some sleep this century. So. <laughs> I'm going to go wash paintbrushes. Sherry, don't forget to message us, please. Yes. All right. Thank you guys for being on here tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Diane Ward, the name Sounds for the good. stencil place again is Maison yes. Stencil. And I think they may ship to Canada. Yes. I think Diane's back home. Yes. Yeah, Maison is French for house. So M A I S O N D D E stencils. Okay. Deb, Maison you want something red tomorrow and you better make it happen. <laughs> Hey, right. Sue Van Voorst Redledge from Ohio. Hey. See you guys tomorrow. We got to run. See ya. I need to go to sleep. Adios. Adios. Yes. He's clocking out. And I got to Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Ciao. Bienvenue. Are you trying to come up with all the ways to say Konnichiwa. Say goodbye. Yeah. Never say Sayonara. goodbye. Sayonara. It's just so long. So long. Konnichiwa. So, all right, guys. Sayonara. Have a great right. evening. Good night. See you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.